Nice to meet you, nice Mei Wen. Meet you. I didn't recognize you without the glasses, by the way. <laughs> In the film, you have the—that's very much your look with the uh, the very studious look, <laughs> yeah. but that's not in real life. No. But you do wear many hats in this, though. You are the director, the co-writer, and co-star. Uh huh. And what was that like? Because you have mostly an acting background, though, right? This is one of your not, not as much. Not really, no. Oh, okay. I don't think so. So you feel comfortable in both roles? I feel comfortable in both roles, but maybe more when I direct it. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Mm, so you like being behind the camera. Yeah. Maybe that's why you're the photographer and is your character maybe. as well. <laughs> maybe. Maybe you should have been doing a, a, a videography. In a, in a, in a, um. But, you know, I, this film was very interesting to me because I love to travel. I love Europe. I've been to France, you know, various times. But I have to admit, it kind of opened my eyes as well because I tend to think of Europe as safer and a little more, I don't want to say innocent, but I really thought it was just in America where we kind of have all these child abuse and, you know, a pedophile in every corner. I always feel like when I'm in Europe, it's not quite as bad. But yet, apparently, from this film, maybe it's just as bad as America in, in Paris with these issues. I've got to compris. Il a l'impression, il a toujours eu l'impression que l'Europe était plus saine, disons, par rapport à la pédophilie, qu'il y avait moins de cas. Et visiblement, dans ce film, il découvre qu'il y a les mêmes problèmes en France qu'il y a ici aux États-Unis. But you are, excuse me, you are naïve. <laughs> oh, is that okay? So I'm just. Pédophile is all over the, vo the world. Mm. And. So I, I read that you saw this on a TV show or a documentary, and then I discovered the existence of the child unit protection on TV. But then I decided to meet them and to make research. So I've I've done um, a stage, comment dire, uh, internship. Internship. Oh, we, with the police or the protection yes. unit? Oh. Yes. So that must have been eye-opening then. Why? That you must have really learned a lot from doing oh, that. Oh yeah, I couldn't write the script without spending time with them. And, and I guess that the other thing, of course, that the film brings out, on the one hand, you know, you're aware that there are these horrible things going on in the world, but yet kind of the effect that it has on the people who are maybe trying to f make things better or deal with the problem, mm -hmm. but yet it's also a toll on them because it's a very heavy kind of thing to deal mm -hmm. with on a daily basis. Yeah, it's for me, it's the only job that I can feel the people are giving their life to make it happen. And it takes a personal and it toll on them de, as well? De, de, comment on dit le, le, le but de leur métier, le, pas le but, le, le gain de leur métier. Mm -hmm. What they take from What they take from that profession. is not money, is mm. not material, it's only human. They just want to save a soul. With the power of the words, like for example, when they have a victim, in front of the pedophile, they give. They they are trying to get the words like, "Please forgive me. Please, you had a, you had a um, child abuse." Ce que je veux dire, c'est que c'est des gens qui 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 essaient de de réparer les 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 âmes humaines, quoi. Mm -hmm. There are people who try to repair the human souls. Yeah, repair. Yeah. And you also, it was interesting because I've, we've done various shows on various issues like this, but sometimes also the false accusations. So it can be difficult because there are plenty of awful things that do happen, but then sometimes, you know, I don't know whether the kid makes it up, but maybe the one parent tries to do something against the other parent. Mm -hmm. or So it's tough because you can't always even just assume that the kids are telling the truth, although you, of course. you know, obviously have a presumption. Yeah, they have lots of ima imagination also. Mm -hmm. You have to deal with that. It's uh, complicated because in, in Europe we have these uh, big cases. Maybe you heard about um, Le Cas, uh, comment? Outreau. Have you heard about it? I, I'm not completely sure. I don't. The case is Outro, you know, in uh, in mm -hmm. in Belgium. In Belgium, there's a big legal case going yeah. on right now with, with okay. lots of kids involved, lots of adults involved, mm. and it was so big in France. These cases because they put so many people in in jail, and after a few years, they discovered that they made a mistake. 
because they, they've been listening to the kids too much. Ah. And they discovered there were so many in innocent. So all the justice institution was so um, ashamed that now they, are, they, really, they really take care of the, um, they cannot, they cannot uh, believe everything just because it's the kids. Well, on a little bit of a lighter note, um, there is also kind of a lighter note in the film itself where it almost turns into a musical at points. Mm -hmm. And I guess that wasn't accidental probably with kind of the heavy dramatic tension that maybe... An or, accident? Well, I mean, I'm assuming that you wanted something like a... They couldn't just always be dealing with, you know, the. they had to have some fun or some lighter moments. It almost, like I say, became more of like a musical. Was that intentional, you know, that it, they break yeah. into song and dance type of thing? Yeah, of course. You know. It was intentional. Okay. And I'm just curious, since this is the year of, you know, kind of the artist here in Hollywood, um, has that had any benefits for other French films, even though, I mean, it's a silent film and it's kind of different, but um, is there more reception to French films in Hollywood, or what do you, is there, have you noticed any difference in more? Since the artist? Yeah. No, but I mean, the artist is just a, uh, it's exceptional in the story is about an American. I don't think if the artist would would be um, with uh, dialogues mm -hmm. without any the homage of America, I don't think you would give them an Oscar. Mm -hmm. I think you gave you gave them the Oscar because uh, there is no li dialogue because it's a homage of America industry. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Oula. <laughs> <laughs>